So I'm live on Facebook and I am live on Hello Adrian on um, Instagram as well at the same time. And I'm also trying to film a YouTube video at the same time. So there's a quite a bit happening at the same time over here. So the th key thing that I want to talk about today is that three, three key words that might be keeping you guys from reaching your fitness goals or goals in life in general. So I can see more people are coming on to this live now, so I'm going to get straight into it and you should be able to watch a playback of this either on my YouTube channel or um, on the Facebook group if you are in that Facebook group. Okay, so the first word that I feel that keeps most people from reaching their goal is hope. When, when you use the word hope, you sort of don't have a plan in order to to get the things done that you want to get done. So it can be as simple as, I hope I lose this much kilos this week. I hope I am able to go to the gym this many times a week. I hope I do this this week, do that this week, to get to the goal that you have set out. When you say, I hope, you sort of are taking, I hope I, you're taking the power away from yourself and putting it into hope because you don't actually have a set plan or something like that to make you reach your goal. So, but it's okay to say, I hope you like this video. I hope you're enjoying this live stream because I'm using the word, I hope you. So when you go, I hope you, that is okay. But when you put, I hope I do something or I hope I am able to achieve this, that means you don't have a set plan and you don't have a, a structure in what you're trying to accomplish and what you are trying to do. So hope is a very, very dangerous word that you should think of using less because when you hope you will do something, it generally doesn't go according to plan. So the next word I'm gonna say is can't. So people say I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this, uh, I can't lose weight, I can't go to the gym, I just can't, I can't, I can't. I, I, I don't have enough time, this, and I, and I can't fit it into my schedule. You see, one of my good friends actually said to me that I can't go gym in the morning. I'm like, why is that? He's, and, I, and he said, I, I'm just not a morning person. I can't wake up in the morning. Then I asked him this question. I said, tell me this, bro. If someone was going to give you $1 million for every week that you woke up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym, would you do it now? And you know what? Surprisingly, the answer to that was, yes, I will wake up. I won't wake up at five, I'll wake up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym to get done what it, what it was he needed to get done. So, it wasn't that he couldn't wake up in the morning. He was saying, I can't wake up in the morning. It was that they was choosing not to. And in most cases, and most times, when you're, when you're saying, I can't do this, or I can't do that, 90% of the time, the choice is that you are able to do a certain thing that requires your decision to be at a certain place or to go and do something. So that's sort of the thing that when you say, I can't do this, uh, I can't be there, I can't train, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. Even me, when I'm competing for a competition, when I'm getting ready for a show or doing something, and um, I was actually at my mate's birthday the other day, um, and when the cake came out, they said, um, did you want to have some cake? I did not say that I can't eat the cake. I said, no, I'm not going to eat the cake. If I wanted to, I could have eaten the cake. It was my choice not to eat the cake. And then I remember my friend saying, he said, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm like, no, 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 bro. It's not, it's not you that have to be sorry about anything. Um, it's my choice. It's the choice that I'm making to tell you that um, that I don't want to eat the cake. Not that I can't, I just don't want to because of the reasons. So if you are going gym and your mates are not into gym, um, your mates are always going out, they are wanting to do things, don't be on the phone and be like, hey man, I, I, I can't come out tonight. Just say that I'm not, I don't want to come out tonight because I have other commitments or I don't feel like coming out tonight, I'll, I'll come out with you next time or something along those lines. You know, it's not that you can't, you need to make a choice. 
And then you'll get the people that um, j they just say that I can't go to the gym because I don't have enough time. I can't go to the gym because I'm too busy. I can't go to the gym because I have, a ki I have kids. I don't have any kids. I don't know how that's like, but I can't go to the gym because of this and that. But those are the same people will spend every week, almost every night or whatever, on Netflix. Watching Netflix movies, watching TV, or even watching Game of Thrones. Game, I never understood Game of Thrones, so if any of you guys watch Game of Thrones, I'm really, really sorry. But I never understood that, that they will watch that and, uh, and, and say, I can't, when clearly they can. It's like one of my other mates, he, he comes home, from work he told me and he said he's just he's just too busy he just can't do anything but um, when I calculate it so I'm like okay you sleep for eight hours you work for eight hours I'll give you two hours um, that you drive to and from work and maybe another hour to to get ready or whatever it is so 8 8 16 and then 18 19 I'm like still you still have five hours to do something that you want to do I'm like, okay, I'll give you I'll take another hour away so what are you doing for the four hours that you do have do have left. TV, Netflix and chill. That's what most people do these days. Netflix and chill. Word, second word is can't. Remove can't from your vocabulary and you're gonna start achieving your fitness goals or any other goals in life in general. The next word is try. The third word that keeps you from getting to your goals is try. I will try to go to the gym this week. I will try and do this this week. I will try and eat clean this week. I will try and do this and that. So when you say try, your brain automatically makes yourself believe that it's okay. If you fail at this, it doesn't matter because, hey, what the heck, I, I tried at least. But that is not the case. The, the most successful people in life, the most successful people in health and fitness and staying in shape or whatever it may be, they don't try, they do the do that they say that they're gonna do. And you might think there's some people that, oh man, they can always look so good, they can always stay in shape, they can always do this and that, but always eat the good like food, whatever they wanna eat and they don't go out of shape, that's not the truth. They eat the things they eat and they look the way they look is because they do other things that you don't see them doing and they don't try to do it, they actually get it done. So don't say I'll try and do it, say that I will do it and have a plan in doing it so that way you're not trying. You have a plan to do what you need to do and that's the way you will get it done. You are not trying to do that. So anyways, those are the three key words that I feel you should use less of and take it out of your vocabulary which is hope, I can't or can't and try. Again, hope, can't, and try. Now I'm gonna go into quick questions that I've been getting recently, and I can see some questions coming through here. How do you find balance as, how do you find balance as compared to ON? And as well, always, I will catch you guys on the next one. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms as I would love to connect with you.